Silence. It's really the only sound you hear when driving an electric vehicle like this Chevy Bolt. Pretty cool, right? Well, not if you're a pedestrian. You see, it's a lot more dangerous to walkers, bikers, and runners if they can't hear a car it's coming. This is especially a problem with the visually impaired. In addition, sports car manufacturers recognize that driving sound, the sound of an internal combustion engine, is such an important key part of the overall driving experience. So in the past, it's been kind of important to have some sort of sound in an electric car, but you know, it wasn't something that needed to be in the car for it to be able to sell. But now that's all changing because in 2016, the National Highway Traffic Safety Association, or NHTSA, in the US made a law that said by September 1st, of 2019, every single electric car produced and sold in the United States needed to have some sort of audible warning when traveling at speeds of 30 kilometers per hour or less. That's 18.6 miles per hour. At that point, the wind noise and the, the tire sounds should be enough to warn pedestrians of the coming car. But until that point, there needs to be some sort of sound that the car makes. So now the race is on to invent what is commonly referred to as the sound of the future. And it's actually a really difficult task because if you live in an area where there's a lot of slow moving traffic, like say New York City, you don't want to hear this annoying beeping sound 24 seven right outside your house. That could get really annoying. And you've also got to remember that as a car travels, the pitch and frequency of the sound waves change because the car is moving towards or away from you. So it sounds differently as the car is traveling past you if you're from the outside, which could make some sort of music sound really weird if they put that as the audible warning. So it's an extremely difficult task to come up with a non-annoying sound that sounds good at all different frequencies and won't drive anyone crazy even if it's heard 24 seven. It is possible that each manufacturer could come up with a different sound for their electric vehicle, you know, to kind of differentiate the brands, but to pedestrians it's not important what kind of car is approaching you as long as you can hear it. So I kind of suspect that there's gonna be a standard sound in all the cars that sounds exactly the same. And that's what makes it important to all these different manufacturers. You know, it's kind of a contest. Who can come up with the best sound and who can come up with it the fastest so they can be first. Mercedes-Benz has partnered up with the 90s rock band Linkin Park to try and come up with a cool sound that can be emitted by their electric AMG vehicles. They recognize that, you know, they're a sports car manufacturer and they know that sound is a really important part of the driving experience, like I said before. So they wanna come up with a really cool sound that of course isn't annoying to the, to, the, to the pedestrians, but is also cool to the passengers. So that's why they've partnered up with a rock band and really, really interested to see what they're gonna come up with. Nissan has already debuted their sound for the electric cars that they're gonna be putting in their cars at the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show in their IMX concept car. It's kind of like a beeping, whooshing, whirring, futuristic sort of noise. And they actually made a video of it, which you can check out right there. Unfortunately, I can't play it in this video because of copyright laws and stuff like that. But it, it's kind of a very interesting sound. Just in the video that they posted, it's not annoying at all. But I imagine that if you're hearing it, you know, all the time as a passenger or a driver or a pedestrian, it could get really annoying. So maybe not the best uh, system that's been come up with yet. But again, this is such a difficult task for car manufacturers. One manufacturer who's already come up with a sound for their electric cars was Fisker Karma. Now, I know the company has gone out of business, but when they produced their car, the Karma, they had external speakers mounted, I believe, on the front bumper that could be used to produce any sort of sound whatsoever. Now, they suggested you use some sort of futuristic sound that they produced themselves and I believe was built into the car, and it was kind of a cross between a Formula One car and a jet plane. That's what they said. It sounded pretty cool. It definitely sounded fake. Uh, but it could be a potential option for future electric cars. And then there's the last option that everyone could resort to and wouldn't be annoying at all because we're already used to it. And that's the internal combustion engine. Pedestrians are obviously gonna recognize it as a car and manufacturers are not gonna have a difficult time, you know, coming up with that sound to put in their cars. But I feel like putting fake engine sounds in electric cars, people already get on manufacturers like BMW for electronically amplifying the engine sound. I just don't see how the sports car enthusiast world is gonna accept fake engine sounds in electric. Can you imagine this Chevy Bolt sounding like a Lamborghini V12? I mean, it's just, I don't like the idea. Um, I'm sure a lot of other car enthusiasts don't like the idea either. Hopefully, manufacturers are able to come up with something legitimate, something new, something that does sound good at, uh, at all times. 
If you enjoyed this video, maybe learned something new, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment your ideas for the sound of the future below, and make sure to check out my channel because I've got a ton of electric car reviews and sports car reviews. Something for every sports car enthusiast out there. So remember to subscribe.